When it comes to mental health calls, police are often the first responders, and despite some training, they don't specialize in those types of issues. That's why Johnson County is expanding a program that dispatches trained professionals with officers on mental health calls. 41 Action News reporter Alyssa Donovan is there this evening with how this program is helping others. Well, we spoke with a woman today who says if it wasn't for the mental health professional dispatch with the Leewood Police Department, she believes her granddaughter may have ended up in juvenile detention. Instead, she's now getting the treatment that she needs. Nancy Eubank recently called Leewood Police to come help when her granddaughter had a mental health crisis. I called them and uh, the CIT person came out. The crisis intervention team or CIT includes officers with training and a mental health professional. As a crisis intervention team trained officer, you have knowledge on how to uh, recognize mental illness. You have knowledge on how to de-escalate a crisis situation. Once the situation is under control, it's the next step that gets tough. Often as officers are our ability to help only goes as far as what the law allows us to do. If the person is still a danger to themselves or others, police bring them to the emergency room or to jail, which are often not the best option. Jail serves a purpose. It's there to keep a dangerous person from committing a crime or from hurting someone. It's not there to give mental health treatment. That's where the co-responder comes in. If we have a co-responder on scene with the officer, we can come up with treatment options, referral sources, and keep that individual out of jail in their home or getting the right treatment that they need. So far, the program has assisted nearly 150 people with getting the mental health services they need just this year, including Eubank's granddaughter. I praise them for their work. Eubank believes if it wasn't for the co-responder, her granddaughter may have ended up in juvie. But it, it's okay. She ended up getting the treatment that she needed. And at home, instead of in a system where she doesn't belong. And the program actually started in Olathe and has expanded to several other cities, most recently here to Leewood. Those in charge are also looking at expanding it to the Johnson County Sheriff's Department. If that happens, it will round out the entire county. Reporting live, Alyssa Donovan, 41 Action News.